Today I'm going to build a rig, not with a cat, but with GPUs. <laughs> I'm realizing that I have 14 graphics cards that are pretty much current generation that aren't doing anything. So even though I really don't have the power for this right now, I do have the ability to put all this together, make sure it works, and wait for a little bit cooler weather before this stays on 24-7. <laughs> You'll have to put up with the cat. So I've got a 4070 Ti Tough. I've got two 3070s. I've got a Founders Edition and a For the Win 3. I have a 3060 Ti XC. That is a revision 4. So the better Hynix memory. I've got a 6800, a 6800 XT, and a 6950 XT reference. And over here I've got a 3070 two 3060 Ti Samsung cards, and four RX 6600s. So I've found in the past when I did that 18 GPU video on a single mining expert that mixing and matching NVIDIA and AMD is actually critical for having a lot of cards. 14, you can do either way on the expert, but if I want to expand this any further, I do actually need to mix the makes of the cards. So anyway, first things first, I'm going to separate these out so it's just one frame. We'll get the Mining Expert motherboard installed, and we'll get the power supplies in. After that, we'll start mounting up cards. I did spend a good chunk of yesterday going through all of these, and I'll be using these today. These are the Nerd Gears risers. I'll link all this down below, and there's a $10 coupon code too, but these are $0.20 cents a piece. So you can get a lot of risers for basically nothing. They are version 006C, and they're all missing the foam on the bottom. And a lot of the riser cards I got, the little ones that I should go into the motherboard, were bad. But again, for 20 cents a piece, hey man, <laughs> I'm sure you're like me, and you've got riser cards from other risers. So anyway, we'll get all this opened up. But the plan is to use a 1600 titanium and a 1200P uh, server power supply in conjunction like I did with the last build, because that works pretty well. And yeah, that should be more than enough power for all this. So let's get going. I saw this in the packaging and I had no idea what it was. I don't know why this is the first time in over 25 years of building computers that I've seen somebody include a cheapo driver for motherboard standoffs. This is ingenious. So thank you, whatever Chinese brand this was. That is an awesome idea. Cool. All right. One thing I noticed, the T2 is so big, I actually had to move this forward one notch, which I think should still be okay. Excuse me. I believe that'll still support the riser just fine. But uh, yeah, that's a tight fit. That's a big old PSU. Um, so now I need to grab somewhere in here, there should be an accessory wire with a floppy connector. And I'm going to need that. Here it is to drive the server power supply. So I'm gonna plug that in first. Well, the proof of concept boot went just fine. Everything is good. So I'm gonna use the soft power button here to confirm that works, and it does indeed. Interesting, okay. Yeah, it seems like it's triggering okay. So let me get my map and we'll start putting cards in one by one and hopefully they come up and boot just fine. Well, so far, I've got three 3060 Ti's. Now I've got, it looks like, three 3070s. And then I'll start filling out the bottom layer as well. Um, I'm going to try to squeeze seven up here so I can get 14 without having to try to put weird stands and risers and things like that down here. But we will see how that goes, ultimately. Well, the 7 NVIDIA is no problem. Getting the first AMG, AMD to register... Uh, essentially, it wouldn't register in port 8 or 9, but it would in 10, but then that would cause GPU 7, which was this 70 Ti, to stop registering, so I moved that to 8, and now we have 8 registering, so I'm going to keep building out and see how far we can get. I just want them in order, even if it's not, you know, 1 through 19. Well, these boards are very frustrating. Uh, I'm at the point now where I went through every single slot with nine GPUs, and it would not detect the pair of AMD cards, and now I'm having difficulty even getting it to see GPU 8 again. 
So my plan right now is to go downstairs, shut down my 7x3070 rig, grab all those cards, and throw those in here instead of the AMD stuff, and then we'll move these to that server case. Well, yeah, for whatever reason, when you do a single make of cards, everything is rock solid. So I've just been adding them one by one, and you can see we have 10 no problem. So I'm going to throw the last four in here and I guess check it just to make sure it works. But then I'm going to have to find some more power for this thing. Well, I had a couple of cards pop up as malfunction, but I'm going to reboot after I just wiggled all the riser cards. So we've got seven 3070s on the bottom, 3070 Ti, 3070, 3070, 3070, 60 Ti, 60 Ti, 60 Ti. They are all GA104 cards. And yeah, let's see if it popped up yet. This looks like we see 13. So not quite there to figure out what card we're missing and after changing literally nothing it works fine so i guess i'll throw it on alephium really quick with low overclocks because it's all on a single 15 amp 120 volt circuit right now just for testing and this definitely has the potential to pop breakers with uh what 2800 watts worth of power supply so <laughs> let's uh let's make sure this thing actually chooches well, one more thing I just learned about these B250 Mining Expert motherboards. You need a lot of RAM. I actually was having uh, so many issues with the 14 cards registering and stay registered, I couldn't even launch a miner with all of the GPUs in there. So there is still kind of a page file limitation, it seems, even in Linux. But ever since bumping it up to 16 gigs of RAM, it's working just fine. So I'm testing it on a lithium here just to make sure everything is good. You can hear the fans are going bananas on those blowers just because auto fan tends to start them really high and ramp them down. But yeah, after swapping over from 8 to 16 gigs, seems like we're good.